essay middle class unemployment what is meant by middle class causes of its unemployment economic social educational the changing situation dangers of middle class unemployment we hear a great deal these days about middle class unemployment in order to understand what exactly is meant by it it is necessary to have a clear idea of the term middle class to say as the oxford dictionary says that it is the class between the upper and the lower classes conveys little meaning broadly speaking the middle class is that section of society the members of which have some education and earn their livelihood with the help of that education it may be only such education as it is imparted in the secondary schools or it may be university or professional education the class exclude on the other hand those who depend for their livelihood exclusively on landed property stocks and shares and other sources of unearned income on the other hand it excludes manual workers of all types whether skilled or unskilled before the first world war a middle class unemployment in our country was not an acute problem because members of this community usually had a steady supplementary income from small landed property but sub infusion of landed property gradually made it necessary for ever increasing numbers to seek avenues of employment in the cities which were developing rapidly on the wake of commercial and industrial expansion unfortunately the scope for employment did not keep pace with the demand for it the acute competition for jobs that resulted led to a fall in wages and this again made it necessary for larger number to try to augment the family income the gravity of the situation was increased after the war by large scale retrenchments in the military departments as well as by selfish schemes of rationalization adopted by capitalist owners of the instruments of production and distribution this would not have been so acute if there had been adequate industrial development in the country but the growth of industries has not been so rapid nor so well planned to absorb all available personnel this social system in our country used to be a cause for increasing unemployment the joint family system made it possible for a large number of semi educated young men to live on the common family income and save their class prestige by remaining unemployed rather than seek employment outside the traditional groups of what are known as white collar job early marriage also created large families and added to the number 
of the unemployed. Finally, the caste system based on profession created artificial barriers that prevented the class transfer of the unemployed in all one caste to seek opportunities in another. Perhaps our ill-planned educational system had something to do with middle class unemployment by encouraging a too literary or liberal education young men were discouraged or drawn away from manual work it was considered derogatory for young men of this community to put their hand to the plowing or the hammer of course it has to be conceded that even if they had received industrial education our industries had not yet the capacity to absorb all of them short-sighted political ideas also multiplied unemployment thus the weightage given to one section of the community among whom the problem of the middle class unemployment was not acute added to the number of unemployment in another community where the demand for jobs was already excessive but a far more important cause was the artificial partition of India on a communal basis. This created an enormous refugee population evicted from their homelands, deprived of their usual sources of livelihood, they became homeless. Wanderers in regions which did not offer them scope for carrying on their traditional vocation. This has caused acute unemployment among a virile people. Of course, many of these causes a gradual ceasing to be operative. The caste system has almost broken down and a Brahmin today is not averse to taking up even a leather industry. The joint family system has lost its rigidity and we have increasing numbers of educated young men ready and even eager to stand on their own legs. Manual work has acquired a new prestige and educated men are quite willing to handle the tools of a trade which their fathers would not have touched as the middle class includes the intellectual section of the community unemployment here is likely to have dangerous consequences for the state widespread economic distress among this community increases the number of discontented young men who apply their brains to seeking a radical resolution for their distress. Thus they study the basic causes of the problem and seek their swift removal by revolutionary means. An unemployed middle class brings instability in the state for the ablest among them become the natural leaders of political agitation. No government can view this possibility with equanimity. The British handle the problem at the wrong end. They tried to restrict education so that instead of an educated community to deal with they would have an uneducated 
community of employed, which they thought was a much less difficult proposition to handle. It is only recently that we have begun to think anew and to tackle the problem as seriously as it deserves. To prevent the increase of unemployment, we must have a clear statistical picture of our requirements of trained personnel in different spheres. It is a good sign that steps are being taken to obtain correct information regarding requirement in the various sphere of employment. Once these are obtained, the tax of training the necessary number of men for each department will be facilitated. But this is only a preliminary step. Avenues of employment must be created to scope with the demand for employment, the introduction of free education up to the age contemplated in the Constitution would create a demand for millions of teachers all over the country. The expansion of our industrial economy is a healthy movement and it will absorb increasing numbers as mechanics and engineers. The development of mechanized agriculture will need the service of a large number of trained personnel and the improved villages of the future will reconcile them to rural life not only by providing them with a variety of jobs but the facilities of modern town life as well. The supply of electric power to small scale industries will also help the revival of indigenous cottage industries and this will provide employment for many as our governments extend their activities in various national building departments they will also offer suitable jobs to increasing number of young men the government also should exercise pressure on the mercantile farms and industrial organizations to find employment for the maximum number of young men retrenchment should be allowed only as a last resort when all other effort to cut down losses have failed. Thank you.